Welcome to Art with Jim Freehart. I did a lesson with children not too long ago about drawing jellyfish, which was just kind of fun because it's a simple lesson and easy shapes to draw. So I'm going to start with my jellyfish way over in one corner and I'm going to leave space for its tentacles to go all the way across here. So watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to make like a half circle, like a half moon or like a like the top of a mushroom. It's kind of like what that looks like. And then, there it is. It's just about like the top of a mushroom. Now, some jellyfish have like an interesting decoration like this. It's almost like a, a four-leaf clover on top. There's one. Here's another piece of the clover. There's another piece of the four-leaf clover. And the other piece is over on the other side of the jellyfish. So I'm going to shade these in, make them a little bit darker than the rest of the jellyfish. And then underneath here, I'm going to put a few, like, um, it's almost like um, thicker parts of the underbody of the jellyfish here. And then if I shade these in, Kind of with lines like that, and then the lines on the other one go maybe a different direction. And this one might go a little different direction. And that one might go a different direction. And some of them are getting a, a little extra dark up underneath there, where it's hidden in the shadow of the body of the jellyfish. Then I can put my, actually the little jellyfish tentacles going, kind of waving in the in the current of the ocean. So instead of having them straight out like sticks of hard spaghetti, these would be like soft spaghetti. So they would be kind of moving along in the current of the ocean. I'm gonna do a little more shading on this, on this side, on that side, a little shading underneath. I'm gonna take my fingers and do a little smudging in this, where the thick little um, the thick tentacles are sort of and then I'm going to go along the edges of the jellyfish all around its body and see what happens when I smudge all these things a bit looks kind of more 3d now if I want to make the jellyfish look like it's in motion look at them putting some other lines here as if the jellyfish is moving a little bit some kids call them speed lines and there might even be some, some little curly Q um, eddies where the, where the water is swirling around the jellyfish. So look at, see how I'm doing that. Just like a little, it makes it look like the jellyfish is in motion. There we go. That's about it. Your jellyfish moving through the water assign my name now you can put all sorts of other things if you what if you wanted to put another jellyfish there I'm gonna make a much smaller one that's farther away same thing just a few little lines underneath the little uh, four-leaf clover thing there 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 a little bit darker there um, I'm making this one a bit darker actually because I want my close-up one to be really different than the far away one. So this one I don't want to be quite as dark. So I'm gonna, I made that a little too dark. Just erasing that a little. I want it to look far away. So here we go, the, the jellyfish is just swimming along in the water there. And there it is. There's the far away jellyfish. You could put any kind of fish and anything else you might wanna put in there swimming along in your, in your underwater drawing. I'm making these fish really simply. Basically, I'm just showing its body, kind of. Maybe at the end, I've got a tail, like its little tail there, and it kind of looks like little fish swimming along. There it is. We could have some bubbles coming up. something underwater. 
some little tiny bubbles, tiny little bubbles, and some bigger bubbles. See, bubbles underwater, they look round if you're looking straight down at them underwater, but if you're looking at them sideways, they're kind of like this, almost like the jellyfish, like the top of the jellyfish, a little bit like that. So there we go. There's our little bubbles coming up, and here's some tiny little bubbles. There you go. I'm going to sign my drawing, Jim Free Heart. Celebrate the gift of life. I hope you have a fun and wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.